Today we're going to talk about one of the most common mistakes that developers make, especially junior developers, whenever they try to find solutions to some problems that they cannot figure out or that they have never encountered before. Let's check that out. So let me show you one of the most common mistakes that junior developers especially make when starting working on a project. Especially on something that they don't know um, or they haven't developed in the past before. So, for example, I was hired by Company X. And Company X is a software development company that develops software for our people or for our businesses. Right now, they are building a software called Bordly. Bordly is going to be like Trello. Trello is pretty much a way to to have boards and being able to, to keep track of your tasks, tickets, and stuff like that. Uh, so you, you have, you're properly following up with the tasks that you're having. Boardly is being developed in Angular, at least the front end side of things. Uh, let's say that you're fairly new with Angular, you're not very used to the syntax and stuff like that. Your manager comes up to you and tells you, hey, I need to be able to display the homepage whenever you select how many options so you start going ahead and taking a look at the project you start taking a look at the project you get an idea of how the project is structured let's say we have components um, we have the containers dashboard dashboard is the page this main page is the whole page is the dashboard and the dashboard contains the dashboard navigation and let's say it's got all of these sub pages or inner pages that the dashboard main page is going to contain and you need to be able to communicate between the dashboard html to the dashboard home but you don't really know how to do that you're fairly new to angular so one of the things that you start doing is hey let's google this how to pass data between components right you are not very sure about that so let's say that you you type that you start googling it and you for the most part you know that whenever you find a, an example or an answer from the stock overflow, a stack overflow you mainly take one that answer or that solution first and usually a stack overflow is a great source so for example we click on one one answer how to pass data between two components in angular 2 it seems to be that they are asking the right the right question is what we're looking for and usually stack overflow is perfect but be careful because with years of experience you start learning what kind of answers are good or are not good or where those answers help you to, to to find the actual solution that you need to or not one mistake people rely overly too much on the stack overflow that's the first mistake right the second mistake is as soon as they come to here to stack overflow and they start, re start reading the the answers they forget about all the answers the first answer they see is the one that they're gonna pick and for the most part the stack overflow checks or usually other people within the community start rating these these answers and that's fine but not all the times they are correct so sometimes you have to start kind of like reading our solutions, start understanding a little bit of the syntax, what they are wanting to, to display. So that's one of the other things. People not reading. As soon as they find the first solution, they just copy and paste. Now, for example, if you knew a little bit about Angular and you read about this answer, top answer, you know that they are explaining correctly what's going on and what the different types of data communication between components but if you were not new if you were very newbie with angular uh, developing stuff like that in, in new, with new technologies basically and you see this explanation what you'll do is just find code first and since this doesn't look like code i don't see code so they will completely skip this whole explanation they will skip this explanation and they won't even read anything. Literally, I'm telling you, they don't read anything. They just say like, oh, okay, I'm seeing this. I'm going to probably copy. And then, oh, I might see this as well. 
and I can copy this and I'm going back to my code I'm going to put it in the component uh, file and then I'm going to paste that information this doesn't belong to here maybe and then the developer the junior developer for the most part starts kind of like you know comparing and trying to adjust their solution to what they see maybe they don't have this transfer service from transfer service and stuff like that so that's a massive mistake please 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 don't do that don't do that avoid just copying copying everything that you see and try to implement it into your application or into a project that you're working on remember every project is unique therefore they have different kind of problems that they have to solve even though it seems to be that for the most part the solutions that need to be included are very similar across the whole board because or somebody else has done it in the past so that's mistake number two like if you start looking at all of these solutions and they ended up coming across with using a session storage uh, to store the value of of whatever they want to store so they can access it in a different component man that's too much that's you already know that that's a bad uh, solution as a senior developer but most importantly the main thing that they forget to do is checking the actual documentation of angular so if they are telling me okay let's say that i went ahead and they took a look at this stack overflow question you gonna look at this answer okay they are talking about this um, parent to child sharing the data via input child to parent child to parent okay i can kind of like start getting an idea of what's going on but ideally what you need to do is if you find some kind of documentation from the technology from the framework from whatever you're using uh that you that you're currently using just go ahead and take a look at that first stack overflow is not gonna be there forever sure thing it helps a lot especially for people who have access to that because in the past i know that some of my co-workers used to not have stack overflow and man they will spend a lot of time finding solutions but anyway just take a look at that the main documentation of your technology that you're working with uh, look at this is they are telling you about component interaction pass data from parent to child with input binding okay so uh, at some point the, this might be a little bit overwhelming because you don't understand all the terminology but they are telling you all these methodologies i mean if you just read take a look at the documentation from the technology that they they build this uh this framework for example i mean you can't go wrong you definitely cannot go wrong so yes a stack overflow is an excellent resource for finding solutions but man you don't have to rely on that you ideally you have to rely on the main documentations that you find from the technology um, as a second option you can just go to a stack overflow but also you need to start identifying what are good sources of information as well like for example if you're in the technology war you develop applications for several years you start realizing that there are several pages where you find information that is relevant and is very good is very accurate they often help you find uh what you need to to, to find for for your solutions right so for example medium.com is an excellent resource they often have articles and stuff like uh, tutorials and that sort of thing Code mentors i've never heard of this before but there are uh places where you can find solutions i think farship farship that is, is a good one as well so my message is don't just rely on stack overflow you are overly dependent on stack overflow and you're not reading anything so i encourage you to do improve your googling skills as a software developer really that just can self view from spending an hour two hours instead of spending 10 minutes finding a solution on something that you might not know but it might be easy to find it's just people 
don't take their time to find the right solutions. Finally, I got another most common mistake. And as junior developers, man, I've seen sometimes that they don't even bother finding for a solution. They don't even bother opening Chrome, Internet Explorer, whatever they want to use. Just to type how to pass data between Angular uh, components, right? They just simply go to the senior developers and they start asking, them, hey, how do I do this? How to do this? Sharing information between components, right? That's a big, big mistake. And you have to understand that the solutions are out there. The solutions can be found easily. You just have to put a little bit of work of using your hands, clicking the, uh, the mouse, opening the, the browser, and start finding information. Yes, go ahead and ask questions to your senior developer uh, peer uh, who could most likely is going to help you unless... Unless they are jerks, let's let's be honest. But they are most likely gonna be able to help you. But make sure to do your work, otherwise you're gonna become dependent of your peers. Because every time that you know something, what's your first reaction? Their first reaction is gonna be, hey, let's ask uh, Daniel, let's ask John, uh, let's ask I don't know. Whatever your, your, your developers, your, your teammates are. And then at the moment that they are going, let's say that one of them are sick or I don't know, one of the, them are in vacations and stuff like that. You're going to have the same problem. You're going to end up thinking about, hey, Daniel is not here. I don't know what to figure it out here. And you end up spending a lot of time. So please, please, please take into the time of searching for solutions on your own start understanding a little bit and read read and read documentation thank you for watching this video and i hope that this might help you a little bit if you have relate with this it's okay it happens to every of us uh, when starting our software development careers but just understand that there are better ways uh, to do things especially to googling solutions uh, when it comes to to facing some challenges that you have never uh, approached before Subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up as well. Um, if you want to share your comments, please write it in the section below. I don't know, somewhere in here. And I want to hear from you what have been one of the most common mistakes that junior developers, uh, or any developers, it doesn't have to be junior, have made during their software development career. Stay tuned for future videos and until the next time.